hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts in today's video we will be talking about jupyter notebook and in this video we will talk about everything we will explain what is jupyter notebook how you can install it how you can use the online version of it and you do not need to install anything in case you're using the online version but i will show you all both the ways how you can use jupyter notebook i will be sharing some tips and tricks and i will be sharing how you can write codes how you can add visualizations literally everything there is for jupyter notebook will be covered in this video with lots 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 of examples so make sure you watch the video till the end and without further ado let's begin with the video what is jupyter notebook jupyter notebook is an open source web application that you can use to write down codes in various languages not just python but even c++ r and various other languages that you can use in jupyter notebook you can add visualizations to it you can add text to it it is like a document and it is very very easy to share with other developers other developers can import it in their jupyter notebook and they can see your code it's very easy it's open source and jupyter notebook is widely used in data science scientific computing and machine learning so having a basic knowledge of jupyter notebook is very important if you're new to data science or data analytics using python these are some key features of jupyter notebook so the first one is interactive code execution which means you can write the code and you will get the output in the very next second and it supports multiple programming languages including python r julia number 2 is rich text support you can add text images links all of these to create well documented and visually appealing notebooks so when you share it with other developers they are able to understand what you are doing in your code data visualization you can create and display plots charts using jupyter notebook using libraries such as matplotlib seaborn and plotly fourth one is integration with big data tools you can connect it to big data tools number 5 is collaboration as i already mentioned it is very easy to share notebook with others via email or github or any other platform Number 6 is open source and extensible which means this is open source and you can also customize and extend them with plugins and various extensions deployment you can convert notebook to various other formats so these are some of the key features of jupyter notebook now let's talk about the installation process of jupyter notebook so you simply need to go to your browser and write down anaconda over there and go to this website this is the easiest way to download jupyter notebook simply click on free download skip registration since i'm using mac i will be selecting this and wait a couple of minutes till it finishes downloading it for you simply open it continue continue agree install select on continue close to the finder and select on anaconda navigator so this is anaconda navigator go to jupyter notebook and select launch and here it is and you can go on select new new note sorry new notebook and you can give it a name 
select python 3 and i'm going to close this and here is your jupyter notebook and as you can see over here localhost is written over here which means you are running it locally you can also access jupyter notebook online all you need to do is search jupyter notebook and go on to this website and this is jupyter lab this is jupyter notebook and there is one option try it in your browser select this one and select jupyter notebook over here and you can this is a default notebook you can actually delete this just delete this delete and here you have jupyter notebook which you will be running online so this is how you can access jupyter notebook online on your browser you do not need to install anything i have shown you all both the ways how you can work with jupyter notebooks with that let's begin creating a simple notebook and how you can write command and let's go through the whole tool this is jupyter notebook and you can go to file new notebook and a new notebook will be created and in select kernel you need to select python 3 select and this is your notebook you can you can change the name over here temporary and we have renamed it now this is known as cell you can change the type of cell using this drop down this will become markdown raw like this so there are three types of cells code markdown and raw in code you will simply write your code since we used python over here we have to write code in python print 5 plus 8 and you can select over here this will run your code and you got the output 13 now if you want to add some notes over here you can change the type of the cell to markdown and i can write any note over here adding a print statement and when you run it nothing will happen because this is a document but if i want this to be on top i can select this option over here this will go on top if i want it down i can use this if i want to add another cell in between i can use this so, so as you can see a new cell is created over here i can also delete this if i want a new cell below this cell i can select this another cell is created over here delete so these are the options over here this is for anaconda assistant so this is how you can add your python code over here and simply run it and you will get the output immediately this is the kernel option suppose in my query i have couple of lines c is equal to a plus b print c and now i run it so i'll get the output suppose i want to add line numbers over here because sometimes to understand the code better or to rectify an error you need to have code lines this is a very simple code but when we write complex code it will be quite useful if we have line numbers so go to view show line number and here it is you can see the line numbers over here next thing that we are going to discuss is keyboard shortcuts you need to go to the help button over here show keyboard shortcuts and here you can see various keyboard shortcuts and suppose i want to save it file save notebook it will be saved i can also save and export it in a different format and then i can share it with someone else i can also download it it is downloaded in ipynb format and then you can share it and suppose you want to 
import a Jupyter notebook that has been shared by someone else what you can do is select on file open from path add the path over here and it will be imported in your Jupyter notebook and then you can play around with it if you want to see different types of headings you can go to help show keyboard shortcuts and these are type these are the type of headings over here and these are the shortcuts but you can also change it using hashes and when you run the size will change when i add one more hash over here and run it it is different and so on so this is how you can change the heading two very important things that you need to understand in jupyter notebook is cells and kernel so jupyter notebook consists of three cells code markdown and raw cells code is where you write the code markdown is where you add any text or explanations over there or you can add ex equations over there you can also add images over there third is raw cells where you add code over there but that code will not run raw cells are not evaluated by the notebook so you will write code in maybe some other language over there but that will not be run by jupyter notebook the kernel process is a standalone process that runs in the background and executes the code that you write in your notebook. So it is basically used for executing your code. It is responsible for running the code and returning the results to the front end. These are the two things that you need to understand in Jupyter notebook most importantly. Now let's set up NumPy on Jupyter. I will change this to Markdown and I will write set up numpy and run and now i will add some code over here i will write import sorry import numpy as np i will run it n is equal to np dot array one three five i will write print n and here is my array this is how i import numpy now let's set up pandas i will add a markdown over here and i will write set up pandas run it and i will write the code over here pip install pandas this was already installed so i did not have to install it again but if you are getting any error you can write this code over here you can write this command over here pip install pandas and it will be installed and now i will import pandas as pd sorry this should be import pandas as pd and this is how you can import pandas and write any code over there set up matplotlib let's write the code import matplotlib dot by plot plt it is imported we also need to import numpy so that i can use array numpy is also imported let's add the x axis coordinates y coordinates and now let's use matplotlib 
we'll be using plt dot plot plt is the alias that is given to this library matplotlib dot pyplot and i will add the x coordinates and y coordinates and we also need to use plt dot show let's run this Okay, the spelling is wrong. Okay, let me just add this over here and run. So this is really very easy. If you've made, an, made any mistake, you can edit it in the very same cell and then you can run it. And this is our visualization. This is how you can import matplotlib and you can execute it on Jupyter Notebook. So we have seen how we can import NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. I hope this video was helpful. I tried to include everything in this single video so that you do not have to go elsewhere to get any further information on Jupyter Notebook. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button and I will be putting up a lot of videos related to python mostly the videos will be related to python for data analytics so if that is something that interests you make sure to subscribe to the channel and keep an eye on the playlist as i will be uploading a lot of videos there and i already have a playlist where i have put in a lot of python videos go check it out make sure to comment down on this video share it with your friends and with that i will end this video Thank you so much for watching this video.